Hello everybody, I'm Meso from the TTV channel, back again to bring you some very exciting Bionicle news. Today, the one, the only, the legend himself, Christian Faber, released a very exciting video on his newly rebranded YouTube channel, The Quest for Future Creativity. On this day, Christian Faber has dug up from the annals of history the original concept video for the Bionicle theme. So what that means is, this video was created as a way to distill the concepts of Bionicle down into a relatively short video to be shown to partners, to retailers, to anyone curious about Bionicle. Basically, it's a pitch video. It's the original concept of the story, back before things were finalized, back before things were super locked down, and also the early concepts of the sets in their early prototype stages. So, it was definitely Bionicle at this point. It wasn't Dewheads or Boneheads of Voodoo Island, but it was very early. Uh, so you're talking before any of the Kanohi masks actually fully existed. The only mask used on any of these prototypes is a How. None of the other masks were ready yet. And the personalities of the Toa at this point, they were still very firmly in their ancient deity status instead of how they actually ended up being. So you have things like how Gali will typically be calm and peaceful, but if the waters are polluted, then she'll enact her revenge against the people for doing this terrible thing, which obviously isn't remotely like how Gali actually ended up being. It's a relic of an older time period of the story. And I find that super interesting to learn more about that era, and I actually see it explained in audio form by the original narrator. So definitely go watch the video. I don't want to spoil too much of what's in it, but a few things that I will notate is one of the bits discussed is how Bionicle was definitely going to launch with a PC game and a PlayStation console game, because obviously that is the way to break the story. Ha 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 ha. <sighs> obviously didn't work out quite like that. Another funny bit that the video discusses, which I never thought would actually happen, is in the year 2024, We've gotten yet another pronunciation of Liwa's name. So we've had Liwa, we've had Lewa, we've had Lua. Now we have Liwa. Liwa. Toa of Air. Liwa. Where they really enunciate the Wa. So I fully expect a bunch of Liwa themed war Wario and Waluigi fan art to come about as a result of this development. Uh, can't wait for that. That's why the thumbnail is how it is, by the way. Like, I just... I couldn't let that pass up. That was too good of a chance. And then we have some other stuff, like a walk cycle of the original model for Tahu, where he was still wearing the Vahi. That's a fun thing. Presumably that was for the game or something. It's a bit unclear what exactly that was for. But that's super cool to see. I'm not going to spoil the whole video. Definitely go watch it. Leave a nice comment on Christian Faber's video. You know, it's very cool that he found this, provided this all to us. Hopefully it's the, you know, it's not the last fun video that he will share with us all. Though I will say, the longer time goes on, I wonder how much is left to show. There probably is some stuff, but... This is the earliest it gets, you know? This is the original piece of Bionicle video media. There aren't many more of these left, I would imagine, that we haven't already seen in some capacity. But time will tell. I'm sure if there is anything left to post, Mr. Faber will eventually share it with us. But I just like seeing this kind of stuff. I'm a sucker for the behind-the-scenes development era. So go check it out. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and on Faber's video. And that's all I got for that particular piece of news. So next, like I have been doing, feel free to leave the video if you have already got what you came here for. But just a quick update 
on us and what we're doing because we post so infrequently. I feel compelled to give you guys updates. We do actually, finally, have a few cool things in the pipeline for the TTV channel. We did bring back the TTV podcast the other day. So if you want to go check that out, there is an episode out right now. It's in the live stream archives tab of our channel. If you want to go check it out, it's episode 351. Well, we were back. (laughs) Uh, We decided to do it completely impromptu. There was no announcement, no nothing. It happened late, so I know that locked out a good portion of our audience from participating because you were likely asleep. You know, I feel bad for that. Um, The idea to bring it back, obviously we've been wanting to for a while, but schedules haven't aligned. The thing that motivated this particular recording session, if you can believe it, isn't anything super major. Uh, It was discovered, or it was just brought up in casual conversation, that the TTV Podcast's 15-year anniversary is going to be next year. And if we do an episode a month between now and then, then we'll have gotten to episode 365. And at that point, that's just a fun number. Like you can say, you can watch a TTV podcast episode every day for an entire year if you really wanted to. And that if that seems like a weird, inconsequential thing to bring back the podcast for, you're right. But... We wanted to do an episode, and, you know, we were just like, let's not talk about it. Let's not worry too much about the perfect time. Let's not try to get everyone who wants to be there, there for it. If we want to do it, let's just sit down and do it. And so we just did an episode that evening. It was way later than normal, but that's the only time people are free. You know, everyone's schedules are so all over the place. We don't really have the luxury anymore of spending like a week trying to schedule out the perfect recording time for us and our audience. So if that's inconvenient for you, I really do genuinely apologize. That's probably going to be roughly the time that they do typically happen, like once a month on a Monday or a Sunday at around 8 p.m. Eastern-ish. Hopefully by the next time we do one, we will actually have it planned in advance. And we'll post on the community tab and on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash the TTV channel so you actually know when it's coming out. But our goal is to do them monthly. Not to say that's the only podcast content we'll be doing. I'm trying to see if LJ would be down to do a Knack and J or two because I do have some interesting topic ideas. But obviously he's still on his break. Um... He's still incredibly busy. He's still working like 50 to 60 plus hour work weeks. The only reason he was able to be on the TTV podcast is just because it coincided with being one of his nights off. So if we are going to do them monthly, we'll maybe try to do them on his night off. I don't really know where that leaves Nack and Jay though, because we don't want to do like podcast overload. But we'll see. Uh, We'll let you know, hopefully, when we have something more to announce on that front. Uh, But something cool I do want to let you guys know about is we are going to be doing a new Let's Play, which might seem weird and random, but it's actually not, because next month, February 19th, is the 10-year anniversary of Minog with Meso, and we were wondering what we wanted to do for that, and we realized the perfect thing to do would be to fulfill our promise from many years ago and play the Metru Nui online game, the Bionicle fan game from many years ago, that is supposedly Metru Nui style Minog game. Uh, I've never played it. I've never really even seen video of it. I've only seen a few pictures. It could be bad, could be good, who knows? But that's gonna come out on the anniversary of Minog with Meso, February 19th, 2024. Uh, Minog with Meso and LJ will premiere. Uh, And other than that, uh, recently, A new member of the channel, Kleb, posted a two-part mini-series detailing his construction of a resin-casted Borok nest display, which is really cool, especially to those among us who know nothing about resin casting. You know, I thought when he pitched the idea to me that he was just going to show off his model, but he went a step further and actually made a full-blown resin cast tutorial, basically which I thought was really cool as someone who's not familiar with resin casting at all. Both those videos are live on the channel. They were released in January. So I'd encourage you guys to go check them out. They're really fun. Welcome Kleb to the channel. 
hopefully we can get him on more content going forward. That's basically all I got for today. Go watch Christian Faber's video. It's really cool. Get hype for me, Nog, with Meso. Hopefully that'll be fun. And go watch the latest episode of the TTV podcast and leave a comment if you enjoyed it. That's all I got. Thank you so much for your time as always. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great one, guys.